Hi, Penny Lane here. I help contractors better understand their financial statements so they can make brilliant decisions and more profit, as well as assist them and their bookkeepers with all of the education and systems that are behind that. In this super short video, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the hourly cost method of job costing labor in QuickBooks Online, as I've seen a lot of questions about it lately. First of all, if you are not processing payroll in QuickBooks Online, you can enter employee or vendor records, and you'll have an option here in the record to enter an hourly cost rate. For job costing purposes, we want this to be a burden rate, including gross wage, payroll tax, workers' comp, whatever burdens you have. And I do have a burden worksheet on that. You can get at uh, jobcosting.com. Anyhow, here we are. Uh, we've got the hourly cost rate in here for Penny Curl. This is plus and advanced only. We will have the project center. And in the project center, we'll have our projects. So let's click into this project. If we were using the timesheets to enter time, that could be through the QuickBooks Time Workforce app or through just manually entering the time into QuickBooks online or importing it from another outside software, we can use what's called the hourly cost method. It's important to understand how this works because this is not actually posting. And for some, this works really well, and for others, it's not so great. First of all, in your project center, you wanna make sure that you are on the hourly costs. If we choose payroll expenses, that means that we're running payroll in QuickBooks Online. And just FYI, this is what it looks like. It's not burdened, it is not my preference. But today we're really focusing on hourly cost method. I've got some time activity in here, if you'll notice. And I, by the way, actually absolutely love the time reports that are in QuickBooks Online. I think they're super great. You can slice and dice this in all kinds of different ways. But you'll notice I've got some time here, which I have manually entered on my weekly timesheet. And then if I go back to here, I can see that it's actually taking into account the time that's been entered for Penny. It's the number of hours times my cost rate. Notice I can also put in a billable rate for the employee, or there's a billable rate attached to the product and service. In this case, the billable rate's coming from the product and service. This is a fun report in itself, but nonetheless, you can see where the cost rate is coming from. It's coming from this time that was entered for Penny times the rate that is in her employee record. So cool, we can see it here. We can uh, print a little profit and loss right from here, what we're viewing on screen. Uh, and we could even go to our project's report, project profitability report, and we're gonna see it there as well. If you are using the estimates versus actuals detail report, you will not see it there. So here it is, hourly costs. Notice it's not broken down by cost code. That's not a possibility with this method. So this doesn't work for a lot of contractors, but for those, especially those with maybe quick, high turnover, small jobs. I've had some clients who find this perfectly acceptable. The other issue with it is that even though it's showing up here in the Project Center reports, it's really not a posted transaction. And you may be wondering that. <laughs> you may be thinking, well, where does that go, right? Uh, now, all payroll expenses that are entered in QuickBooks Online are coming from actual payroll. So for example, if I do a profit and loss by customer, or for this example, I'm gonna do it just for this project so we can see it really clearly. When we run it like this, this the, for this example, I actually have some payroll stuff that's entered here as well, but this is when you run payroll through QuickBooks, those costs do show up. Again, not burdened except for the payroll taxes, but our hourly time costs don't show up anywhere else in the financials of the company because it's really not posting. It's only viewable in that project center. I hope you found this helpful. You can learn more about me at jobcosting.com as well as the services I offer. I offer outsourced CFO services, cleanup, training, consulting, pretty much anything you need in regards to QuickBooks, construction, and your financial world. I'd love for you to join my Facebook group. You can search for it on Facebook at Construction Accountants and bookkeepers learn, share, and grow with Penny Lane. I also always love to hear from you. You can email me at penny at jobcosting.com. On jobcosting.com, you'll also find my training videos. I have job costing and QuickBooks desktop, as well as job costing and QuickBooks online 
on-demand video training. Thanks again. Always love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.